Hey, welcome back to another Neos tutorial. This time we're going to go over the audio source waveform mesh. This is uh, similar to the line graph mesh, which we covered in a previous video. I'll put that in the video description. But this one will graph the audio volume of a audio output, um, such as music in the world or a YouTube video or stuff like that. Uh, let's take a look. I'll show you how it works. Come over in smooth PRV here. I'm going to build this from scratch uh, simply to uh, show you how it works. And because you can see some examples in uh, the previous video um, from you know, to work on. So we're going to go to empty object here. On the empty object, similar to the, the uh, first video, we're going to go ahead and go to assets, uh, procedural meshes, and then scroll to the bottom here, you'll see standalone rect mesh M. Click on that, and then this time choose audio source waveform mesh here. That's the, uh, the mesh added. Now we're going to go ahead and go to attach components, rendering mesh renderer, Drag standalone rect mesh audio source waveform mesh into mesh. Add a material. Turn to the right a little bit here. Go create new materials, unlit, unlit. Move this to the side. That'll get us our uh, unlit orb. We can put that in here. And now you'll see that this starts rendering as a straight line. I'm going to do the same thing I did previously with the line graph mesh, which is drop it to 10% of its size. So that's 0 0.1 in all scale axes. And then I'm going to scale this up to uh, be 20 and 5 on the Y. So that's 20 here and 5 there. And now all it really needs is an audio file. So I'm going to use uh, something that I've got in my inventory. This is a track called Farting Around by Kevin uh, McLeod. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So here's the audio that loads in, and you'll see that the audio waveform on the uh, the audio loads in here. Um, any audio file will work, provided it is not... Um, uh, not too large or too complex or uh, too loud. You know, make sure it's just a normal, regular song. Uh, go ahead and inspect that as it comes in. Go up to the top here and select the top object here, which will be the name of the song. So you can hear you see Kevin McLeod farting around. Scroll through this component list till you find the audio clip player. Drag the audio clip player and put it into the source of the mesh. And then drag the history length all the way to the end. Close the inspectors and hit play. I'm gonna drop the width down a little bit, and there we go. Here you can see the audio waveform. That's all there is to it. Uh, you can hook this up, like I said, to any audio source. Video should work, etc. You can also hook this up to various types of materials, such as the rainbow material or any other animated material, to get some really cool effects in the world. Uh, try it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, do let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.